What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. And you're probably wondering, what the fuck are you doing? Why is your camera looking at a seat? Well, hang on. I don't know if you can see me well. I was going to... I'm a to, I had to go live on YouTube for the first time on my phone. But apparently my channel does not um, uh, meet the updated requirements. Whatever the f fuck that means, I don't know. So yeah. If anybody in the comments or uh, any any of my subscribers or new s subscribers know what that means, your hang on. Um, I'm, uh, you're, wait, no, I, I probably can't, uh, see it while I'm recording, but, I'm afraid if I back out, it's gonna cancel this, but, it said your channel does not meet the updated requirements, uh, for, uh, mobile live streaming, something like that. If y'all know what it means, please let me know. And this is a different video, y'all. Yes, you're probably wondering, what was that seat? Well, I'll show y'all. This was my, uh, well, my uh, baby, my kid that I don't have right now. I love this vehicle. And, um, uh, my dad has had this since... Uh, well, uh, it came, uh, it's a, uh, well, uh, he's had it, he's had it probably 15 plus years, and, and, well, well, he gave it to me for free, and, well, it's been a good vehicle all these years, and, unfortunately, Y'all don't know this, but I think it was uh, August. Um, 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 uh, uh, August. I went to Blue Hollow for Redneck Grave. I didn't. I recorded stuff there, but I haven't posted it on YouTube because I didn't do any vlogs for y'all. I didn't think about it at the time. Well, I went there and. Well, hardly anybody slept, and my, the, it was Sunday morning, Saturday morning, we all stayed up till 4 o'clock in the morning, I went, uh, took a shower, and I didn't get to bed till 5 o'clock Sunday morning, or, no, no, 5 o'clock, I'm, uh, Saturday morning, Woke up 8 o'clock Saturday morning. Hardly any fucking sleep. Well, come 4 o'clock Sunday morning, let's just say uh, I was stupid. I was way too tired to, to drive and I was hungry. So I went and got food. It, it was like in the 60s, cold as shit, had the windows down. Well, I got the food and on my way back, I rolled up the windows like an idiot, and, well, dozed off for a split second, heard a wombo strips, and hit a guardrail. The first time uh, I've ever been in a wreck, I never won that experience it ever again. It scared the living crap out of me. Never again, but here it is. I damaged that and all of this I hit it here and as you uh, can see somehow I drove over the top of it and under here you can see where it hit it at how fucking bent that it is so yeah it's been a good uh, truck it's a uh, old one Chevy Silverado 1500 
and it's got that um, uh, indestructible motor in it that will not fucking blow up for nothing, which I like. So it's a mud truck right now till I find another truck. And I don't know if I'm going to get a, another Chevy or another or a Ford or a Ram. I'm going to say Ram so, so people don't get pissed off at me Toyota. I don't know what I'm going to get, but I tell y'all what, um, uh, if y'all want a, a very good truck, I've heard the Toyotas are very good trucks. And as always, I got my beer. But yeah, there's no airbag in this. We got that pushed back in. That's what happened. This happened. Yeah, it scared the living shit out of me, y'all. And as you can see back here, I don't know if there's enough light. You can see how the floors are um, pushed up about two inches right there. How it's higher. Yeah. And it's so fucking rusted out. And oh yeah, y'all. I'ma do it for Dale. Do it for Dale. I'm trying to put this uh, back on, but apparently I need a hair dryer. But I don't really want to use a hair dryer and to stretch it out because the bastard's gonna fuck fucking break. And in order to get another one, I gotta order it online. I don't want to. I want that one. And there's a lot of sentimental values in this truck. A, a lot of memories, y'all. But let's get into this. And y'all sorry if y'all hear the door bouncing. I, I'm sorry it, if y'all hear it. Uh, do that. I apologize. I really do. I can get it to, to close, but it's a pain in the fucking ass. But let me uh, hang on. Let me try to. Oh, hell no. There's no fucking way. Hey, <laughs> y'all, it's not going to work. Sorry about the trash down there. One beer down, another one left. Yeah, let's just say I never want to be in a wreck again, but we're going to have some. I tried uh, doing a uh, donut earlier, and it's way too fucking dry for it to, uh, 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 to spin. So, yeah, I can find certain spots where... It, we will spin, but let's see what happens. And, and y'all, I really need a uh, a suction cup thing, a, a phone holder suction cup to put um um uh, up here, so I can sit my phone like that, angle it that way, angle it that way, either way I want, so that way I can record um. Um, uh, off-roading uh, and stuff, but I'm gonna look um, um, into those, see how much they are at Walmart. I'm thinking the like ten bucks, but I'm gonna buy uh, one of those. I've been thinking about it, so that way I could just sit it here, or I can such and uh, I can put it here and. If I want to record uh, having fun on the four-wheeler, um, then um, uh, I can stick it on there and record. But, y'all, I'm eventually going uh, to get a GoPro camera. I think those are like a hundred bucks. 
once I get more subscribers, maybe, maybe once I hit um, a 200 or I hit um, a 300 subscribers, then uh, I will look um, um, uh, into buying a GoPro camera and doing a lot of stuff with that. So yeah, this is the ATV right now. Um, disregard the mess in here. Yeah, we got it tore apart. Um, a comma to find out. Comma to find out. Um, um, uh, 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 the starter was free spinning. So we replaced the uh, starting clutch gear because we it needed replacing them anyways. Because the Baron was shot. Well, we replaced that and come to find out we had another issue. The uh, timing chain uh, came off down here where we got it back on. So, so now uh, a buddy uh, of my dad's, um, I'm a, uh, uh, I believe it. I believe he 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 said um um that it's his son who works on these well where instead of um um uh, putting a, a timing chain on it um um uh, we're going uh, 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 to have him we build the whole top end bottom end whatever you uh, call it the the piston rings or your rings uh possibly the piston also i would like to buy it all piston piston wings oil wings the whole shebang now i know you atv people are gonna say that it's the bottom end well i call it the top end and it needs it because when i went to to redneck rave it was smoking a whole lot more and it didn't show any oil in the uh, holding tank here, reservoir, on flat ground, so I kept adding more to it. It didn't show it, and my buddy was like, um, uh, if I was you, I would uh, ride it and see. Uh, he's like, if it blows up, then it was out. Well, it wasn't out. Um, uh, it, it was uh, completely fucking full when we drained it out, so yeah. Yeah, this is the... The first time I, uh, the, um, my first time I took this, uh, to Blue Holler, I went through the mud, and, well, uh, somehow, the, uh, Master Link, um, uh, um, uh, snapped off of this chain, so, I bought that, and was going uh, to put it on, well, I washed it uh, af uh, uh, the day that I bought the Master Link, which I never should have, because come to find out, I had a tooth on the front of the sprocket that uh, that was broke off. I don't know if that um, I broke off when the chain got wrapped up in here and got wedged um, uh, um, um, uh, between here. I don't know if that's when it broke but i broke it out of there put it on i didn't really check it to see if a tooth was broke so either the tooth i'm a uh, broke when it wedged back here or it uh, broke at the same time the master link came out but i need a new chain anyways yeah, and then I took it to, to Blue Hollow of, of, of for a part of for Redneck Rave number one. And something else broke that was not my fault. Yeah, you can ask any anybody who goes to Blue Holler. Um, um, they, they end up uh, breaking something every single time. I don't know why. I took it through the mud, held it on the red limit, or uh, uh, which I never do that, and that's probably w why this happened. 
but it but it but it's real it started all weekend and I shut it off for like a second or two and then I went to start it up to drive it to the concert and it started free spinning out of nowhere which is weird I don't understand that but it is what it is so yeah I was going to, to go to um to um 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 uh, blue holler for um um a uh, redneck wave number two last weekend, but but I didn't have a ATV fixed. Um, uh, I didn't have a truck. Um, uh, to um um uh, haul my Chevy there, and and uh, my dad's buddy probably would have let me uh, borrowed his uh, trailer but still I didn't have a truck I'm a to hurt the trailer to and to take the truck there so I didn't go am I mad mad about it no uh, I'm disappointed because I don't know if they're gonna uh, I'm gonna come back good uh, here next year I hope they do but it was badass, y'all. So, so, so yes, we are working on this. And I know this motor has been apart probably uh, two weeks now. And I know y'all going to say, you better hurry up and figure and get it uh, put back in together because it's going to ruin the motor. I know that, y'all. And if it does, well, a thousand dollars for a rebuilt motor. But yeah, it's been through hell and back. So yeah, that's what I'm working on right now. But yeah, it is what it is. So yeah. But with that being said, let's go have some fun. And y'all, sorry if the sun starts shining in the windshield, you can't see. I can't either. Apparently, when I hit the guardrail, somehow every everything fucking splashed out of it. So, yeah. Yeah, it has a um, uh, exhaust leak, and it's a whole lot more louder when it's super fucking cold out in the morning. It sounds like a fucking um, a feeling jet at drag store in the... Bad part about this truck, when it's fucking uh, 40 degree weather or 50, I'm a 50s or below, you gotta sit out here probably uh, for probably, I'm a 5 or 10 minutes, I'm a holding it like that so it will actually stay running, um, if, if not, if if you um started up, I'm a wide away. Uh, the truck will shut off. That's a old truck. Yeah, and it has a lot of problems. Well, it had a front end squeaking and, and a belt squeaking where I burnt uh, burnt up the fucking uh, power steering pump. When it was my daily uh, driver being a fucking idiot. $140. Uh, dollars. Well, that and the hose combined was $140. Bucks. Well, we placed that. The, the, um, um, uh, the, um, uh, power steering pump uh, pulley was seized uh, on, uh, on that pump. So, my dad's buddy, um, uh, he works with, had, uh, luckily, um, uh, he had the same motor out of the same year truck, so we took the, um, uh, pulley, um, um, uh, um, uh, uh, we took the, uh, pulley, um, um, uh, off of that one, and stuck it on, uh, on my new, uh, power steering pump and then slapped it all back uh, together and well 
since I wrecked it, the fucking belt don't squeak. And then uh, my dad and my brother decided to take it out out front here and fucking jump it, which I've been wanting to do, but I was afraid with the front end barely holding on there that the first jump, the whole front end would fall out. Well, I was wrong. It actually uh, fucking stopped squeaking, so I haven't got under there to see if anything's fucking broke. But let's get into this, y'all. Y'all wanna hear, oh wait, no, I better not, I was gonna ask him uh, if y'all wanna hear some music, but that's a bad idea. Y'all, this is hard one-handed. See, there goes the fucking door. See, I need that shit. I could probably uh, duct tape it up here, but I don't know how long that it's gonna fucking um, stay up here. If I uh, back there is where uh, we go deer hunting, you go all the way back there to where the dead ends. Well, hang on. Yeah, you see where it turns to to the left? You go back there, and our deer stands back there. I'm not going to take y'all back there because it's a deer hunting season, and and I have two two trails with it focuses one somewhere right there and one uh, back uh, back there soon as you turn left that are for the ATV I'd I took uh, the truck uh, through the one way back yonder and I had uh, to make a hundred mother fucking point turn uh, to avoid hitting two fucking trees yeah, I got to clean them out badly for this truck. And there's a mud hole back there. I don't know if it's fucking dried up yet. But this is the ATV track, was the ATV uh, v track, until I ruined the liver shit out of it with the fucking truck. Sorry about the fucking door. Yeah, as y'all can see I don't know how the fuck I'm gonna do this y'all y'all sorry if it's uh, very hard seeing sorry if the phone moves around I apologize uh, this is my first time doing this okay yeah see how I tore it up Disregard those fucking lights. And yes, this seatbelt sensor don't work. I I believe we either took the fears out or it's blown. I, I don't remember. But y'all, I can't uh, do this left-handed. There's no fucking way. But let's get into this. This is hard left-handed. Oh shit, that fucking hurts. There it goes. I'm abusing it way too much. Yeah, this is a bumpy fucking track, y'all. I need to win a. Uh, I'm a skid. I'm a steer and uh, and dig it up and and fucking smooth it out, especially white right fucking here. I'm gonna break something. 
I better fucking slow down before I fucking do. Y'all probably could sit it up here. I could have more control do it right handed. It's fucking harder doing it left handed. Very fucking hard. Oh shh. What the fuck? Look at the fucking dust. Hey, there's a fire over there, and we got a swim to put. Y'all ready for this? Damn it, it won't fucking do it. Hang on, y'all. Um, this jump's gonna fucking suck with, with this door fucking open. I fucking hope that it don't uh, blow it up uh, where it won't break up. I'm thinking about taking every fucking door off this, or at least the driver and the passenger door, because the back doors won't fucking open. The fucking the handers are broke off and shit. Well, I, I believe it was this one uh, oh no it was that one I believe that opened two I barely pulled it in the fucking hand or I'm a broke off like you fucking shitting me I was not happy so let's see what I believe this is what's that fucking sinkhole at for us I don't want to fucking hit it I don't want to fucking hit it because th that's a deep ass fucking hole. Oh shit, there it is. I'm good right here. Well, here goes nothing. Damn it, it's not fucking doing it. The hell's a damn, um, um, I'm glad I hit the brakes when I did, holy shit. Dang, that would be, uh, that would have fucking hurt. Y'all ready for this? I don't know about this one-handed. I don't fucking know about this. I don't fucking know about this. I don't know about this. This is a bad fucking idea. Why do I smell antifreeze? Oh, fuck, I think I busted it. Yes, almost at 2.10, so uh, this video ain't gonna last very long. I'm gonna uh, uh, jump it and then in this, let it cool off. Y'all ready for this? See that jump up there? I'll... I was gonna ratchet strap this, but I got to thinking, how the fuck am I gonna do it? I, unless I want it, I'm over, uh, want it through here, through that door, over the hood, but that's gonna look fucking ugly as shit. And all this is gonna fucking break unless I can somehow bring it around here, but I'd rather not do that. I know I'm a redneck who fucking kills y'all ready for this. Well, that's a shitty jump.
Now, are y'all ready? Hang on. Hang on, put my seatbelt on. I know I'm a fucking pussy, but I'd rather not fly out of this. I almost did. Y'all ready? 